Today we're at the Hive in London, Barnet FC's home ground. Today they're playing Hartlepool Football Club and we're here with Eddie Keogh to shoot it with the 1DX Mark III. Let's get inside. So we've just come into the stadium, been given these very flattering tops and the players are just warming up. So we're going to test a few things whilst they're warming up. Um, Eddie's got both the cameras set up. We're both on 70 to 200s at the moment on the 1DX Mark III's. And just as it's filling up, we're going to do a few tests while everyone's in their high vis on the pitch. And then we'll get into place behind one of the goals. So before the 1DX Mark III, what, what were you shooting with? Uh, so the Mark II. The Mark II, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Which is still a great camera. It's just that <laughs> this is just another, another okay. leap and forward. Is it, and is it that? five-year leap are you seeing that that sort of five years yeah, worth well, of technology this is four years of technology that, that yeah. they've moved on you know it's, it's a very competitive competitive market yeah. out there as you, as you well know so this this is without doubt the best dslr camera around sure yeah without doubt it's yeah what, that, what's been the major difference for you from that mark ii to the three that's really made the difference probably got just, that, just probably starting with something that like that with that you've just done you'll be able to pick yeah. up a camera and track a guy running towards you and then other people crossing his path and it's yeah. staying. It's, it's, it's uh, this kind of deeper learning it has now. The deep learning, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so a couple of years back they asked me to send them hundreds or thousands of frames of, of, of football and rugby and athletics and that kind sure. of stuff. And lots of photographers, uh, you know, yeah. probably hundreds of photographers. And I, I don't know how they do it, but it's all put into some sort of, I don't know, algorithm, yeah. shall we say. So they start to understand, okay, right, you've you, you've started here, you obviously want this person or whatever it is, and yeah. you're starting to follow it. So I'm reckoning by the, I'm recognizing the shape. And I'll and keep I, that I, shape. I, until you tell me differently, I'm going to stay with that. with that guy. I mean, this is quite a nice test now, actually. So pick, try and pick up, person. maybe just pick up one guy. It doesn't matter if he's got the ball or not, but just try and follow him and rattle off a few frames because and, and stay with it. And what's nice is if, it, is if he runs across that way, yeah. you know, he should stay with him, even though there's people in the way. And something I was actually just really impressed with is I was shooting someone from the other side, they're running towards us, yeah. three or four people in the way, and it held them yeah, the yeah. whole time, yeah, you know, I mean, even that, through those that people. Is, that is pretty much the difference, yeah. yeah. And if you've, you've got, had that camera, <laughs> we've been doing it a minute. Yeah, exactly, yeah. 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 I, I even tested it by zooming in and out as it was doing it, oh, really? and it was still holding right. him as I was, as I was like zooming as well. Why are you pushing it? Go <laughs> easy, push this like, camera too much. That's my job. <laughs> Bring out the floors. I like this. So I think they're pretty much done training now, so we're going to get into place behind the goal yeah. at the top end there and get ready for the match. Okay, let's right. Being joined by... Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Who says there's no fun at football? <laughs> okay, it was kind of an interesting little start there. So he kind of had a little kind of run through there. Yep. Yeah, so it's quite nice. And as soon as you followed him the whole way through. Yeah, and it's got him, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't probably not take as many pictures, but there you go, that's the shot. That's the key moment. If that was a goal, then that's, that's the, the picture, moment. then I would have sent that, you know. Because then you've got the key, right, yeah, yeah, sure. So, so it's, and, and that's nailed it, look. That's, that's pin sharp. It's absolutely bang yeah. on, yeah. And it's nice and sharp. The ball's not, not got many movement in it. Yeah, Two thousand sure. a second, that's perfect shot, yeah. yeah. Good start. Yeah. So we've got a live view on now. You'll hear the mechanical shutter now. That's, tw that's 20 it's frames a second. It's very different, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 20 frames per second must be something special for you as well when you're shooting. It's, it's, I know it sounds, <laughs> sounds silly, do you need that many frames, but it's, it's just that, you know, there's, there's generally like a, a peak of the action when, when two guys yeah. jump in the air and they're, and they're both trying to get their, their foot on the ball. Mm -hmm. So if you've if, if you got, normally get one frame on that, but if you've got another frame on that where the ball was just on the edge of the toe, yeah. Then yeah, that, sure. that's kind of, we're, we're talking about the differences. When I'm working at, uh, Premier League grounds at Arsenal and Chelsea. I'm sitting beside other, you know, these are all top boys. They work with big agencies and yeah. they don't miss much either as well. So no. very often it's just a matter of what we call dangle by the angle. Just depending on where you're sitting, you might just get a better, a better angle yeah, on that sure. shot. But, but we're both probably going to get the ball on the end of the toe. So it's, um, yeah. it's, it's really kind of, you know, the more frames of that, the better, you know? Yeah, it gives you the extra few frames yeah. over. Yeah, and, and even though you know, it's 20 frames, but for that peak of the action, I might only shoot five or six frames, but it's, yeah. it's, it's the vital moment. That vital, yeah, yeah. that's right. This 400 mil is just absolutely beautiful to use with this. It's so quick, 
also photogenist. Yeah, Unbelievably quick. Yeah, yeah. I'm with that camera, it's even better, better again, you know? Yeah, and I'm hand holding it. Mad. <laughs> Who's want to do that job, eh? I know. Who is, who is thinking, do you know what I want to get up and do in the morning? Be a linesman and get shouted at constantly by everyone. It's like my YouTube comments. Be nice. So we were talking a bit about silent shutter earlier, which obviously we don't need here. Yeah. But have you you've been using it at all? Because you've had the 1DX3 for a little while now, haven't you? Some yeah, no, no, obviously not for this kind of, this kind of, of stuff. But um, if you're working behind the scenes, and there seems to be a lot more of that going on, there's a lot more club photographers yeah. working behind the scenes. So uh, if, if a manager's talking to players, that's fantastic. In yeah. order to get those kind of pictures of the, the manager talking, but you don't want to disturb anyone. No, no, it's just kind it gives of quite you that nice. capability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, this is, we've been waiting, obviously, four years uh, for this uh, to, to come. Yeah, and, yeah, it's uh, done it well. Yeah, I, I reckon those, those uh, chaps in Japan have been doing a lot of work behind the scenes because um, this is definitely another, another jump on. I mean, this, the Mark yeah. II is, is a great camera, but this is just a fantastic camera. It's just, it's just another leap forward. So uh, the focus on it is, is fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I've been super impressed yeah, yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. well, not just the focus, but also couple of that with the, the tracking and, and, and the smart the smart controller I don't know how you've had a little play with it today yeah that, that is that is going to be I think a thing of the future that people once they start getting used to it give, give them a, a couple of games to get used to it yeah. it's just really nice very intuitive Easy to use. How, how it kind of yeah, works sure. on the back on the, on the back yeah yeah so I've only been using this now I've had it for a couple of days shooting wildlife yeah and that's been pretty much it yeah. so I'm finding it pretty easy to navigate already. There's some deep parts of the menu I'm not really getting yet, yeah. but what about you as a 1DX Mark II user? Is it, are you finding it easy or? Oh, well, you know, you know what, we, we, we were given a, a test camera back in August yeah. and uh, we went to, to shoot some pictures at, at some basketball, yeah. uh, indoor basketball. And literally for the first time I used, I picked it up and I just attracted these guys and that's the yes, first time I picked it up. Yeah. Fantastic, yeah, yeah. Okay, the good news is, Okay, Hartlepool are down to 10 men. We're doing Barnet Attack, which means we're gonna get, get a lot more action. Yeah, okay. perfect. There's just been a red card, we've got every frame. Absolutely. So it's the same, the same, same battery as the uh, 1DX Mark II. Yeah, which um, people will be very pleased to hear. Yeah, yeah, if they're upgrading, yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll so, have to buy a new battery as well. And, um, yeah, so that will last twice as long, so. It's like 2,800 shots, I think. 2,850 shots. That is a mad battery life, and that is why a lot of people are sticking with DSLR yeah. over mirrorless, I think, pro yeah. shooters, you know. That battery life, it's impractical to carry loads of batteries yeah. with you a lot of the time. Yeah. You know, you can't be changing in the middle of a match. It's, it's just not workable, yeah. whereas, yeah. you know, I've got no worries here. It's not even a consideration, yeah. really, is it? It's not. You, know, you know the buffer now is, is crazy? Yeah, it's the Epic Express. Yeah, you can, you can take, well, you'll, you'll never do it, but it's something like, a thousand raw shots you can take non-stop without it buffering. Because if you're is... doing something like the, the athletics or the Olympics, you know, and you've got someone coming around the track, you could track them the whole hundred metres coming towards you, yeah. you know, with, with that for the whole time, yeah. for the whole race. And it would just automatically I'm not sure anyone's them. ever going to do that. No, but you can. And yeah, that yeah, is the yeah, point. Yeah. Well, what, what ISO are you on, on at the moment? Uh, 3,200. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'll, I'll, you, shoot, you shoot that and I'll, I'm gonna shoot 10,000 ISO. And then we'll see what um, happens. Yeah, we'll be honest to see the difference because the ISO is also so much better. We're talking about another stop and a bit yes. better yeah. than before. So whereas on the Mark II, uh, 3.2 would have been about my limit for, for, for a good quality picture that you can now go 10,000 ISO. So, um, and as, we're, as the light is coming down yeah, right because, now as well. Yeah, we'll get a few of these frames and we'll put them on, on your site as well so you can sort of see, see the, the difference. difference yeah. yeah. We've got a free kick now. He is working so hard. Oh, this, is, this is incredible. This is 10,000 ISO. Look at the quality. Wow. Now. now I can see you've got your Wi Fi transmitter in. Yeah. Um, obviously, you're not doing it for this match, but what would you, how would you normally use that and have you noticed the difference? Because I know there's a speed increase. It's a new one, isn't it? Yes, I mean, I mean, oh, you don't kind of have to. I'm, I'm working for like Reuters news agency and yeah. lots of other stuff where I need to move pictures really quickly. So 
you know, this is this is a, a massive help, um, and this is probably uh, twice as quick as the, as the WFT. I think was it the eight that we, we yeah, used on the, the XT, on the Mark yeah. II. Yeah. So the game is now over. Barnet won for those who are interested. Spoilers. Um, two one. <laughs> two one. Very true. So we're now going to do the eye autofocus test. Now it's not something you probably use here. So it's too far away. But maybe if it's a penalty and you've got your 400 mil on or something like that, it's a possibility. We just want to show how well it works. So what I'm going to do is George is going to video Eddie's screen and yeah. then I'm going to walk towards and away from Eddie and you're going to take some pictures so you can see how well it locks onto my eye. Okay, yeah. So... Okay. You see that? See, even as, even as she's moving left and right, that kind of blue square is locking on the eye and moving with her the whole time. We to show you the pictures there now. Every one of those is sharp all the way through. And then she's moving to the left. Yeah. But they're staying with her. Any one of those frames, that's razor sharp. And we are at, it's 4,000 4, ISO. That is, that is pretty impressive. Now, Eddie, thank you for joining me today and setting all this up, it's been brilliant. It's good. What, were your, what are your top three things about the 1DX Mark III that make it such a good sports camera for you? Uh, autofocus is definitely number one. Um, that's definitely a leap forward from the Mark II. Uh, combine that with the tracking, it's, uh, you're going to get a lot more pictures, uh, a lot more sharp, and that's great. I get more to choose from at the end of the day, so uh, it's a very competitive business out there. So the more pictures I get, the more chance I have of uh, winning the day, as it were. Sure. Um, the smart controller is definitely a, a fantastic ad. Um, mm. uh, it'll take a couple of games just to get used to it, but I think that's a real, a real game changer again. Yeah. Uh, I found that super useful today. Yeah. 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 The comms are great, the, the, the new transmitter, well, the, you've got the inbuilt transmitter. Um, yeah, which we haven't uh, seen before. Which will work with a uh, MiFi and in, in, in Wi-Fi within sort of 10 metres. But uh, if, you, if you're taking your thing seriously uh, for, for sending, if you've got clients who need pictures quick, uh, mm. as, as we do with uh, many of my clients, then you need to get yourself one of these transmitters yeah. and that will send that will send them pretty much twice as quick as the old transmitter on the, on the, on the Mark II. So, the Mark um, II yeah. so you can get, you know, if you can get twice as many pictures away, that's it's not a bad thing either in this no. day and age of social media and people wanting their pictures pronto. So you like it then? I love it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah, um, no, it's good. Now, if you need to know more about the 1DX Mark III, you can, of course, give us a call, send us an email, pop onto our website. There's a lot of information in there. Or put a comment here, and we'll try our best to get back to you with all the information that you could need. We have done other videos on the 1DX Mark III, so if you want to check them out, we've got links in the description. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications for any more videos that we have coming. But for now, I want to mm. thank you very much for today. It's been fantastic, no, and thank you guys for watching.